Let's see. Let's see here. Today, in this video, I am going to be making a video where I use this HDMI converter that converts an HDMI signal over to composite video output. I'm going to show and display it. I'm going to basically just displaying how it works. Look at me holding, look at me. So the first thing we want to do is, the first thing we want to do is, uh, target acquired. If I can hook this up one hand, yep, I'm holding my camera. My camera's not really stationary. So, 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 so I can hook this up with one hand. Ah, with the shortest USB cord, classic. Uh, it's powered by it is a powered by US is it's powered by USB. Right now, it's set to NTSC on panels. So, let's go. We're gonna be recording from that right over there. No, not that. The PlayStation Four. That's what we want to do. Is just hook this up. To the PlayStation 4. Let's take this and put this in the HDMI slot on the PlayStation 4. Yay! Doing everything with one hand is fun because my other hand's holding the camera. Mm -hmm. Might have to go behind. Might actually have to go behind it and figure out what that is. There it is. There she blows. There's the HDMI slot. Uh, hook this up to the HDMI slot on the PlayStation 4 for USB powered since this thing. So you can see this thing is USB powered. I'm gonna have to borrow one of these USB slots on the PlayStation 4. Take this tiny short cord. Hook this up. This up. Make sure this is make sure this is set up right. Make sure this is set up right. And you have that you, you have this you have that set to NTS or panel. And then you can begin. Then we can begin recording. Then you can start to catch up. It really helps if you actually turn on the PlayStation Four if you want to record something. And I will see you back on the PlayStation Four with my rec with my recorder of choice. Stop everything. Ah, oh, yes. Welcome to the game. Ah, oh, yes, that, that converter I was using at the, video, at the beginning of the video was... I got that from Walmart. It cost like $14, so it... 14 something, so it would cost like 15 bucks plus tax. But anyway, yeah, this is exactly how it looks when you're just playing the game. That's so I'm just scrolling through all these menus, trying to figure out what I want. I don't care what I want. Now it's time. It's time to see how the text uh, how the text looks in story mode. Yeah, it's not that bad, but you can clearly you can clearly you can read most of it. You can read most of it. Not as good as it was looking as if it was in high depth, but but the one for one comparison is not that great. Don't you just love the story of the story of Zimikara? I mean, yeah, it converts to, it converts, it can convert, it, at least it does work, it can convert to the I.O. It can convert the picture over to, yeah, the, the picture, the HDMI picture comes from the, to composite, but it kind of darkens the colors a little bit, it's not one for one, but what you expect. But the point is the converter works, and that's all that, that's all that really matters to me at this point. Why would you, why, why, why? Why would I want to convert it in the first place? Because I just love messing around with tech like this. That's why I want to do this. Sure, it's not perfect conversion, but it would allow you to play a PlayStation. It would allow you to play a PlayStation Four or something on a non-high def TV. As long as that TV I can pause it in, or a Blu-ray player, or anything with HDMI, anything with HDMI. I don't want it. 
Uh, such a simple device is so much fun. It just takes, uh, it just takes like, it just takes like the, it just takes like this utility piece signal from that and converts that into a composite, to a composite video. And that composite video now like a, a 4 and it makes it into like a 4.4 AP signal, 4 AP signal, yep. And it looked really, it looked really, really, it was really, really nice. Anyway, this is what seven cards would look like if you were recording it in 1080p. And the games in 1080p, it has widescreen support because the PlayStation 4 has very good has widescreen support. And often fine to go into the setting, mess around, and change some of the settings. It doesn't really make that big of a difference if you're just going to compare it to a composite signal anyway, so. So, but you can change all these settings as much as you like, but back to the game. I didn't mean this HD gameplay footage. I meant this footage. Oh, why did I make this video? Because it's interesting. It's fun to see how this stuff will look. But if you were to use this on like an older... CRTV where you were to play something like a Switch or an Xbox One or a Blu-ray player or or anything that uses HDMI out. I know Marvelous and C games didn't intend for you to play the game like this, but but I find this interesting. I find this interesting. It's only as bad. It's only as good or bad as you think it is. Morning, Simran Carter as a game that contains lots of Simran Simran Carter. Whatever you do, you don't touch it. Does Simran Carter? Please enjoy the rest of this video. That's all. Of course, I like Simran Carter. Peach, 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 peach. This game is full of fan service, and that's in like an intentional. And yeah, it's a bunch of cute girls, cute girls running around shooting each other. With water guns, where you're playing, where you're playing the PC version or PlayStation Pro version. Ah, uh, the resolution makes this a bit, uh, a bit hard to read, but yeah, you can at least tell what they're saying. Not like it's impossible to read that. I feel like all this dialogue between characters. I think it just gets more story, more plot development. Rather, it looks like this. Or this. Uh, I like Homer's dialogue here in that part. But anyway, I'm gonna let the rest of this video play itself out. I hope you have fun watching it. Until the next video, Jenna.